I just turned around and my fooler popped. And then as I heard my fooler pop, I literally got slammed on my jig rod. This feels like a decent fish. We're gonna take our time with this one. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. Feels pretty good. I mean, I'm using a panfish rod, but. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the PC Fun YouTube channel. PC Fun YouTube channel. If you guys have not yet, click that subscribe button. As you can see, it's snowing a little bit. Got a little bit of flurries coming down. Supposed to be getting maybe three to six inches here in Northern Wisconsin. My buddy Dayton and I, Dayton's over there getting dressed somewhere. My buddy Dayton and I are getting ready to head out and try to catch some walleyes. We are gonna do some jigging, probably throw out some finicky foolers, maybe a couple tip ups and see what we can do. You never know with these fronts. Sometimes they are lights out and sometimes the bite is absolutely dead because of them. So uh, we got the snowmobile with us. We got our two man and we are gonna head out in search of some gravel lizards. So stay tuned, see if we can get on them. All right, guys, as you can see, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a two-pronged approach here. Got a tip up, finicky fooler in here. And uh, we're gonna go and get some stuff set up and then we're gonna set up the shack and do some jigging. All right, guys, got our finicky fooler set up. See if we can pop some walleyes on this bad boy. Oh yeah, it's on there. All right, guys, got a fish going right now on the fooler. Fish on. Oh, that didn't take long. I've actually already caught a fish. This is the first one on camera. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> been tough to get our lines set so far. Ooh, that's a nice walleye. It's wrapped up in the line. Get a head to come up. Or we'll just do a tail grab. Tail grab it is. There we go, guys. Right there, first walleye of the day on the finicky fooler. Shaping up to be a good afternoon. Yeah, pretty much. All right, guys, here we go. Beautiful walleye on the finicky fooler. Go ahead, get it back. All right, I should probably do that again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good sign. Good fish. Not a Not big, not small. <clears throat> Still getting consistent action. Well, if we were keeping fish today, that'd be a good eater, but we are, we are not. Guys, we got one going on the fooler. Fish on. There we go. This one just got hit and the line got caught up, so it came off. First day using the fooler, definitely enjoying it. Travis would be proud that I stole his 13 rod and threw a reel on it so we could catch fish today. There we go. Nothing wrong with that. About a 17, 18 inch walleye right there. See that hook? right in the top of the mouth, right where we want to see it. Nice and easy for us to get to it. Basically the concept is that the fish is able to grab and trip the flag without ever feeling any tension 
and they can just kind of run with it and then you get to fight them on the rod so very cool concept and it helps you catch fish like that one go ahead and get that one back and get it reset oh he's gonna crack it dude he's gonna crack it got him cracked it That was awesome, guys. That fish came flying in and just railed this shiner that I have on a jig. I'm using a JT panhandler right now. <laughs> I got a four pound test on. That fish came in, dude, and was just violent. Like <laughs> He saw it from like 10 feet away and just made a beeline. There we go. No hesitation. Just had to put a little bit of meat on. I just put one of those Eurotackle ESR Nano jigs on the bigger one and just nose hooked a little shiner. And that's all it took for this guy to come in and go bonkers on that bait. Go ahead and get that one back. See if we can catch one or two more. Oh guys, we got another flag. This one is spinning. Oh my God, it's really spinning. That looks very pikeish. It's been a long time since I've seen a tip-up spin like that. Fish on. Whatever it is, it feels pretty darn heavy. Hopefully a giant walleye. That being said, that tip-up was doing like Mach 5. Whatever it is, definitely has some weight to it. Big walleye, big walleye, big walleye. Like 28, 27, big walleye. Here's the kicker. <laughs> I think you gotta get this on video on. Yeah. This is a big walleye, dude. The head is huge, huge. I mean, the head is like big, big. It's gotta at least be like, 26, 27 it looks like. Oh, come on, get under the gill already. That is exactly what we came out for. <laughs> Dude, that is a Mondo walleye. <laughs> Guys, look at that fish. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what a freaking giant, dude. Oh my gosh. Hook is right there in the top of the mouth. Right at the top. Check that out, guys. That is a mammoth. Unreal, guys. Absolute brute of a walleye. Taped 27 and a half inches. Gonna go ahead and get her back. Dayton is hooked up. Literally, as I was putting that fish back, he, he had his finicky fooler pop. Evening bite is popping. Feel like a decent one? Yeah. <clears throat> it's that time, the witching hour. Oh, well, you stuck with it. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's some good weight. We're gonna switch off the camera and go to the GoPro. Definitely has some weight to it. This is just fighting uh, No, you can see the weight. I came over here and it was just ripping line. Was it? Yeah, just like, dude, I can't believe that wasn't a pike. Oh yeah, giant. Yep, another giant dude. Get that head up. Come on. Okay. 
Another giant back dude, back to back giants. <laughs> Back to back studs. <laughs> Just a beast. I just turned around and my fooler popped. And then as I heard my fooler pop, I literally got slammed on my jig rod. This feels like a decent fish. We're gonna take our time with this one. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Feels pretty good. I mean, I'm using a panfish rod, but. Those fish are not fond of my headlight, I'll tell you that. Big runs, big runs. Just keeping constant pressure. Got a good one? That's okay, I got a good one too. Oh geez, <laughs> I can see the silhouette coming already. Oh my God. Oh, there's my pike jumping out of the hole. And uh, there is an absolutely magnum, magnum walleye by Dayton. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that is wild. This is bigger than the other one. Yeah, it's close. It's gotta be close. We'll get a we'll get a tape on it before we get her back. Let me get this pike unhooked and out of here first. Definitely fatter than the other two, I'll tell you that. Oh boy. <laughs> you're, all I hear is, you're gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we got another one. All right, so this one is 27 and a half. So three Daddy. fish over 27 inch or 27 or bigger. That is unreal, my friend. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, that is the third 27 plus of the night. And that one's fat. That's got to be, oh, she's ready to go. Well, guys, we are back in the truck and we are headed home. As you guys saw, that was an insane beat down of some really, really nice walleyes. We started out literally not being able to get our shack set up because we had so much action, so many walleyes were being caught. And we didn't really get into that, you know, real big size though until that witching hour. And then all of a sudden we popped three fish that were at that 27 plus mark in a matter of an hour. And uh, Dayton was able to catch two of those on foolers. And then as you guys saw, he stole my fooler. <laughs> and I had the uh, incidental pike that just happened to happen at that time. Uh, but yeah, just insane. And that last one that Dayton caught had a big old belly too. It was a, a beast of a fish. Like I said, we weren't coming out to keep fish tonight. A lot of times Dayton and I just like to go fishing for fun and you know try to catch big fish. So definitely had a good time and definitely looking forward to getting back out and doing it again. I can honestly say that is the best evening of inland walleye fishing that I've ever had through the ice. Uh, it's pretty incredible when you see three fish at that 27 inch mark. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for some more walleye content. Going to be doing more here in the winter and coming soon here in the spring. If you haven't yet, also click that notification bell. That way you guys will get notified every time we drop a video right here. We also have a couple of big giveaways on the way here within the next month as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and we will be back with you on the next video.